Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about Accenture SSIS interview questions. In the recent days, one of my friends attended the interview in the Accenture company. Below are the list of questions which is asked by the panel. And these questions are going to vary person to person as the panel is going to vary and the situation is going to vary and the time is going to vary. So if you go to the questions perspective, these are the list of questions which is asked by the panel. The first question is, how do you rate yourself in SSIS? One is least, five is the best. So based on your confidence, you can answer that. In between one and five. If you go for three, it is a kind of average. If you go for four, it is a kind of good. If you go for five, if you are too much confidence on the SSIS technology, then go for a five. So if you are weak in SSIS or if you have a knowledge only in SSIS, you can go for a one at the least. Next. So what is the transformation in SSIS? That's a very basic question in SSIS. Yes, you need to answer even that also in a experienced way. Next, how do you automate the SSIS packages? Yes, you can automate the SSIS package with the SQL Server jobs. Microsoft by default provides a SQL Server jobs facility to automate the packages. But yes, you can customize. So in the market, there are different framework which will help us to automate the SSIS packages. It will help us to create the dependency between the two packages. So once the package is completed, then only I can go for a second package. So you can do that with a different frameworks as well. Next. What are all the differences between SSIS 2012 and SSIS 2014? Yes, it depends is one of the question. Next, how do you troubleshoot SSIS packages? Yes, so this is a kind of experience question. How do you troubleshoot whenever error comes? Whenever package fails, how do you troubleshoot the SSIS packages? So whenever, whenever you are facing some performance issues, how do you troubleshoot that? How do you identify a bottleneck of a package? How to troubleshoot? How to identify the error causing place? What is the task? What is the transformation which is causing the issues? So that you need to answer in a effective manner. So this question will give you a very good uh, impression if you answer in a good way. Next. What are all the debugging techniques? Yes, as a developer, debugging is really important. So you need to know what are all the debugging techniques which you have in the SSIS. Next one. So what is a data viewer? Yes, it is a kind of debugging technique. Next. What is the configuration in SSIS? Yes, this is a one of the important question and it's experienced question. Next. What is the difference between lookup and merge transformations? What is the difference between lookup and merge transformations? Next. What is the delay validation in SSIS? Yes, delay validation is a kind of one of the important question. Next. What is the difference between parameters and variables in SSIS? Yes, parameters, the maximum scope of the parameters are present. The maximum scope of a variable is a package. Not only this, you have a different points as well to make a difference. How do you handle complex scenarios in the project? So when you have a complex scenario, how do you handle it? How you used to resolve it? Next, have you handled any performance issues in your project? Yes, obviously, yes, you need to say yes, because that's where the interview is going to, to judge you like it. If you say I didn't feel I did not face any performance issues, it means that you used to work for a very basic scenarios. So these are the list of questions. So when you attend it now, the questions may vary, but please keep in mind. So all these questions as well. If you are looking for any other specific questions, please write that question in the comments section. I'll try to answer those. If not only questions, if you have any complex SSI scenario, please mention that scenario also in the comment section. I'll try to help you to resolve it. Please try to reach me if you have any questions on the SSIS, SSRS, SSAS and SQL.
that's it thank you for watching please subscribe for more questions or more videos